I'm thinking about starting up two different wars, one with Greece, because I know that Greece has a pretty good military, but they're behind in technology, and I could probably take them out very easily just by, you know, taking their one capital city. And then I also want to launch a naval invasion for Rome so that I can get colonies on a separate landmass. The only possible problem we might run into is this river. This river might, I don't know, maybe drown us as Frederick, but, you know, let's just hope for the best. Um, but seriously, though, I think we'll be pretty okay attacking Athens. Doesn't have that be the best city defense ever. And, uh, yeah, all this is, like, kind of open terrain, just farmland. So it looks like we might just be able to walk straight in and just say, Yo, what's up, Pericles? How about you join the the, uh, the German Empire? So it looks like we are able to claim a, a great person. We're also going to be able to settle two new cities. We've been expanding a lot because amenity-wise, we've been doing great. Admirals, uh, plus combat strength and movement to industrial and modern era naval units. I think that sounds good. Uh, or we can expend gold, standard speed, military units, get 60% reward for plundering. Oh, that's kind of cool. But let's recruit him for now because I don't have any admirals at the moment. And um, what have you been doing? I think, uh, oh, you need neighborhood too. Okay, so we've pretty much been just mass producing neighborhoods because we really needed to. Uh, this might be one of those times where I just go for a... Ooh, we could build it on the other side of the mountain. This might be one of those times... Ah, we'll just build it up here. I don't have to waste any money because I, I don't want to keep wasting money purchasing tiles unless I have that policy, which I don't have the policy to enact like the... It's not even that much of a discount. It's like 20% for purchasing tiles. Like that's not, to me... That ain't nothing. I, I'm I'm cheap, all right. I'm I'm cheap. I'm a cheap bastard. I don't want to pay 20% less. Give me 50%. I don't know if that's a thing. So I think we want to stay here. We're going to get a lot of different stone resources. A lot of stone, actually. We won't get this fish, which doesn't matter. It's a bonus resource, anyways. Um, I guess it's fine. Yeah, let's just go right here. Won't get any extra housing from this. Hey, Berlin. We finally settled Berlin. All right, that's that's good. I guess. Um, you could use, um, a builder. 34 turns? I don't think so. Build a granary. Build a granary, most def, and then you guys come out this way. I've got caravels coming back towards Ulm, and, uh, we're gonna settle this city, I think, right here. We're gonna get access to both the dyes, the sheep, maybe this stone. We, I don't care about the rice. Yeah, this is probably the best, and then we'll eventually connect with, uh, our capital. I mean, I mean, tile-wise. Okay, so that's good. I didn't know that. I mean, barbarians still, barbarian encampments still get eliminated if you, uh, if you settle a city next to them. Let's go here, and actually, I'm going to take my time and, uh, actually just upgrade this guy to a musket man. Sounds better. Also, I really like the fact that there are no longer two, uh, different, there's not swordsmen and then long swordsmen. If you look at that in Civ 5, it's really dumb. There's a lot of things that I look back at in Civ 5 that did not make much sense. This game's so much more streamlined, and it's really unfortunate because a lot of the, you know, a lot of the kind of the people that didn't play Civ 5 as much aren't going to notice these changes. So when they review Civ 6, they might not notice all the little changes that actually are making a big difference. All the problems with Civ 5, um, I don't think they're going to notice, honestly, as much of the things that have changed. Like, you know, the, the, just the good changes, not having to build uh, uh, a coastal city to build ships is a great example. You know, that's a perfect example. Um, you know, the district system works really well, and I can't think of everything right now because it's off the top of my head. You know, requiring Niter, I think, for Musketman makes it a little bit more um, balanced overall. A lot of little changes that makes the game more balanced that I don't think a lot of people will pick up on if they didn't play, like, a thousand hours of Civ V. But anyways, um, let's go with the Granary 2, and then we'll probably... Build a builder. Another thing, a builder, because you built up, you know, three or four workers, and they would settle you. They would, that'd be enough for the rest of the game. Requiring these builders is, uh, you know, there's actually like a strategy behind, like when do I build builders? Because they only have three action points, which I can't wait to play as China because they get four. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, we're gonna put our privateer right there. I actually can upgrade you. Obtain gold for from naval victories. I do like that because I probably won't be raiding as much. So let's go boarding. What do you mean barbarians are approaching? Oh, okay, yeah, I knew about that. And uh, we're building an encampment inside of Mainz, if that's called Mainz, something like that. You people settle too close, yeah, uh, my, my people will settle where they please. You're not going to like us anyways, so I have no reason to not just say that to you. I have no reason just not to say F you, pretty much. So now we get sewers. Um, we did just build the, the we got the toys amenity from a great merchant or something like that. The toy, yeah, so we had like, we got a bunch of extra amenities from that. 
Uh, okay. Let's, oh good, there is an access point. I wasn't sure if I should move that way, because I didn't know if there was going to be a way to, to pass by. Flight would make this all, both of these possible wars that I'm thinking about getting into, a lot easier. Build an industrial era or a late, later wonder. That probably will not happen. However, if I'm going to declare these wars, whoa, wait a second. If I'm going to declare these wars, do I want to be going into the modern era before I declare them? I don't, it's going to be, we're going to be really tight on time. I don't know if we are going to have that luxury to wait. Whoops. I wonder why there's even a movement button. It's kind of weird to me because you just right click. Who uses that movement button? But I don't know. All right, let's see if we can just take down this guy without using, oh, you know what? Let's get the extra experience. Why would I not? You're a, you're promoted too. You already have two promotions already, so we might as well get the extra experience. Now, do I want to start sending down units? Um, I can upgrade all these guys to field guns. Let's go ahead and do that for sure. I'm hoping that we have enough of an inf infrastructure to get down there fast enough. Your progress towards Scorched Earth has advanced considerably. Um, let's go there. I can also upgrade... Oh, I can't upgrade battering rams yet? And, yeah, definitely not siege towers either. Pikemen, I, yeah, I figured I couldn't upgrade them. I don't know if we would have enough. It would be close. Okay, so I'm super great neighborhood-wise. Um, and we don't, yeah, we don't need to worry about housing or anything like that. So housing, we are fine for the rest of the game, more than likely. Do we want to do an archaeologist? I can also technically use a spy, but I think I want at least one more boat. We definitely need at least one more boat. Melee strength, raid and strength. Let's, let's go with that. Um, how, what's going on with you? You built me a granary, right? Yes. Let's go with the monument. There we go. Hey, you're doing all right. Probably because of the trade routes that we sent to you. Yeah, okay. And we we probably also need to build or purchase a unit. We're only making 85 gold. Our economy's suffering a little bit because we haven't been doing as many uh, international trade routes, which is useful, obviously. We have even more pearls, so we can trade these pearls now. Oh, there you go. You guys want them already. You don't have any extra amenities? Come on. Give me those churros a long time ago, and uh, now you're not down. Okay. And then you want to give me tobacco. Hey, you're actually kind of cool. Okay. Even though you denounced me, you must need these amenities. Don't don't give me that look. Dude looks mad. Looks very angry. Okay, religious-wise, everything is fine, right? Yes. Actually, Tamaris has taken the lead slightly with 23 converted cities over Victoria's 17. So that's some good news. Uh, before I go any further... I would like to see if I can... Well, I should probably denounce you soon. I should denounce Rome and Greece soon. Because I need like to wait five turns. Um, You're unfriendly anyways. And you don't like most of the world either. What's up with most of the AI? So I guess it's a normal thing for the AI to not really like most people. I'm going to denounce you. Maybe I'll get England on this war. Even though they won't do anything. Yeah, we need to start doing the denouncements now. Don't give me that. Don't give me that piece of paper. I don't care what's in that piece of paper. Maybe it's maybe it says I'm a jerk face. I don't know. All right, I'm denouncing you too because we got to give five turns before we can declare a formal war, right? Is that right? Pretty sure. And that will be much less uh, warmongering penalties. I don't know. I might have a Cassus Belli that I could use a different one at a certain point after uh, territorial expansion is finished. Okay, uh, we need to send you guys down this way. Yeah, let's send everybody down this way. We might actually have enough units. I mean, if anything, maybe purchase one more. But I think we're going to be pretty good. Create an escort, and then you guys sleep. Uh, also, yeah, so where are my damn caravels? What's going on with that? Oh, we got one coming. At least one. Oh, geez, that other one's taking a long time, isn't it? Oh, no, I've got both of them back, don't I? I think. I I think I've got both of them. How, how can I see this? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're exploring automatically. Maybe I should let him do that. Yeah, I, uh, he is uh, he's the one that I upgraded, but it's going to take too long anyways. And he might be able to get on the end of the battle. The good thing is, like, we could probably take two cities through this war. 
just strictly through my, because I won't have much of a force to go inland on Rome. That's, uh, so that's kind of an issue. In terms of domination, so I'm the only one that's taken the cap capital, right? Yeah. It would be a lot easier since they changed the rules for winning a domination victory if, if somebody else had already taken a capital. Because then I, I don't have to take that capital. I just have to take the, the owner of the capital. Alright, so I'm going to sit here and heal. And actually, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll probably come around Athens. Probably use this tile here. Um, we might actually have to sit back and, and fight him a little bit. Because I know that he has... This actually might not be super easy. I should let you know you stoop to... Well, oh, oh, yes. Okay, I actually want to be kind of cool with you. Because you're like my only friend. So... Military power. Greece is at 409. Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, we should be... Okay, so you're going to come around this way. I should let you leave. Yeah, we should leave. Let's go to... We should probably go to Rome, huh? I mean, just to get some vision. That's probably a good idea. What? Just to get some vision to see what they got defending the city. Yeah, let's do that. You got a few districts. Maybe I can mess with those. Let's go there for now. Did you finish? You need the neighborhood. You're actually okay, but let's just build you a neighborhood. Alright, let's just build it there. There's actually a lot of unimproved tiles that the city has. A lot of possible new districts that we could put up. Um, we should take the battering ram with us too, huh? I take those battering rams everywhere. People got so mad at me at the end, at the other, in the other videos in the American series because I carried this battering ram with uh, with a chariot for so long and it was slowing him down and it was actually pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, so there's our... Actually, can I upgrade you? No, I can't upgrade this guy. We are going to be in an interesting situation. I can upgrade to a, a ironclad though. Hmm. Yeah, I would be able to do that. Okay, so you guys got to finish the neighborhoods a little bit faster because this is... Science. Oh. It's getting a little ridiculous. Okay, so we have our frigate there. Let's change the production. I think, uh, so I think Navy-wise we're okay. We could probably launch the invasion, but I need to make sure that we have at least... Why can't I build a musket man? Oh, two-nighter. We don't have that yet. We will, we will. We're going to be close, but we don't have it yet. I guess another field gun, I, I suppose. I can't build one of these. Maybe I should purchase a builder and... I mean, how much money would I have if I do that? I'd have to do two things. I'd have to purchase this tile and purchase a builder. I guess I will. 220, because we, we, really, we really have been disregarding builders for a little while. Which is not good. I can try to rush Rough Riders, but I don't know how much they're going to help us out in this situation. I can't see them helping us out all that much. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll build one more... I'll probably do one more frigate, and then, and then we'll build the unit afterwards because we'll get the, uh, what resource was discovered? Oh, coal. Oh, good. Yeah, do we have any builders coming anytime soon? Not really, but we do need a lot. We kind of need a lot, so, I mean, this guy can get the dyes integrated and get the niter up in there too. Can somebody be happy with me, please? Please? Jeez. Okay, so let's go after this. That won't take too long. You're building the granary. Uh, I'm going after a, oh, a monument. Dang. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we're going to have some problems. We're going to have some problems, y'all. It's about to go down. Uh, I can start. I don't think I want to do a frigate yet. I don't want to create a fleet. I'm sorry. So let's keep that the same. Yep, upgrade you. Yeah, this navy is pretty much ready to go. Yeah, so I think we're going to start both of our wars in the next video. I mean, I, I think I might be able to start one now. Just, you know, obviously there's not going to be anything, any results. Oh, perfect. Cool, let's get some experience. Let's get some nice experience here. How did you not take him down? I don't want to use the city because I, I want the experience from it. Okay, St. Louis. Uh, yeah, I think if you have the... Yep, housing, you're fine. So, build me a builder. It's only going to take two turns. Perfect. I like that. 
uh, build this for me. And we gotta get you here, get the field guns back behind you. This is really crucial for attacking a city, the, uh, whatever that artillery use weapon is. I might not actually not keep this musket man here, because he's gonna be surrounded by a lot of Greek troops. So I don't know if that's a good idea. Washington, are you almost done with the neighborhood? Like, it's all of our big cities that really need the neighborhood right now. And man, I have not been able to build more monuments. Or, I'm sorry, more wonders. That's not good. So do I want to... I think I want to increase... I always like increasing my visibility. No, not diplomatic visibility. I mean, spies will operate at level 2 for 24 turns. So let's do that. Give me more, more options. Ooh, trader in 10 turns? Or a uh, just build a builder. We don't super need a trader. It's nice, though. It is nice. I'll give you that. Okay, so you come here. You come here. Oh, I can upgrade you. Perfect. Movement or combat strength versus naval units. Yeah, plus 7. Whoa, that is a very nice bonus. Yeah, that's a very nice bonus. So I should probably pull you up because my capital has a lot of things that it's working that... There's probably a few things that's not been improved yet. Uh, I don't think I've improved that. Let's go here. Or is this... Oh, this was... Ah, this thing was pillaged a long time ago. Kind of hard to tell. Kind of... Yeah, not super clear. I'm going to back away from this. Even though I have... Oh, you know what? I should probably change around my government next turn. Let's go the next turn. Look at our Castus Belli's. Because I don't know if we'll have one... We might be able to use one of those, that new one, expansion or whatever. In order yeah, so we might be able to use expansion. Let's try that. Units. Mobilization. Good. Let, let's go and check on you. Nice. So I could use two. Yeah, declare a colonial war. Use to declare war on a power that is... Oh, that's even better. Formal war. That's a severe penalty. Okay, well, actually, that's probably what we'll do. I get to change around my civics. Let's not forget about this. Let's make sure... I uh, change around my government. I'm sorry. Um, Where is that? Unit maintenance decreased. Amenity-wise, I think we can probably start to get rid of this. Unit ma maintenance decreased by two. I don't think that's super important. What I want is native conquest. Combat victories over units from earlier eras provide gold equal to 50% of the combat strength. We'll be making bank with this. I don't think we need this as much either. Combat strength following civilizations that follow other religions, no. Units have 50% less combat strength reduction from being injured. That's not bad. I should probably keep this amenities. Movement if starting in friendly territory, upgrades. We'll make a lot of money. I, th I think amenity-wise we'll be okay. I can always put that back after we take over Greece. So let's confirm this. Because that will really help attacking Greece, having that under our belt. Um, let's also make sure that our Roman Casus Belli, we have a Roman Casus Belli. We don't. It'd be a severe penalty, form a war. You should declare war on a player you have denounced at least five turns ago. No restrictions on which cities you may or may not capture. Uh, let's give it some time. Oh, you like Greece. And we might give it some time before we start our, our naval war with, uh, with Rome, but... Yeah, the Greek war is going to start up right now, but I'm going to stop right there. We'll see how our Siege of, siege of Athens is uh, is going to go. I think our Greek war should go pretty well. I'm just kind of worried about taking over Rome. I, I don't know how many people are going to be upset. I mean, it's nice that... I, I, don't, I don't want the whole world to denounce me. I mean, everyone's kind of unfriendly with me. I've already denounced a few leaders. Um, England is friendly, but what is she going to... I don't think she cares. Um, so I'm a, a little bit concerned with that possibility, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.